Today we're going to be talking about the Yakima OnRamp LX. Now this is a beefed up version of Yakima's popular hitch rack. It is built to withstand the heft of e-bikes and even the length of cargo bikes. But is it all it's cracked up to be? Let's find out in today's review. Hey everybody and welcome into Electric Bike Report. This summer we are testing every hitch rack we can get our hands on to help you find the one that's going to be best for transporting your e-bike. So if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can keep along with all the latest hitch racks to see which one's going to work best for you. So this right here with the OnRamp LX is actually a pretty good solid hitch rack. If you're not familiar with the Yakima name, I mean just kind of look around at any vehicle that's transporting stuff. They've got roof racks, they've got hitch racks, they've got all the different things you need for helping store things on your vehicle. Now, in the case of this one right here, the OnRamp LX is a pretty good mid-tier option. We have tested racks anywhere from $500 up to $1,400, and this one, as of today, has an MSRP of $899. Now, it does a pretty good job as it addresses a lot of pain points of uh, hitch rack ownership. Uh, it's pretty versatile and very easy to use. Now, the highlights here are going to be the fact that it can carry um, 80 pounds per tray. So you can get 160 pounds worth of e-bikes on here. And of course, it can fit things that are longer, like cargo bikes, such as this Radwagon 5 that I've got on the back. So all of that is pretty awesome. And I think the only downsides I've really discovered with it so far are just, it's a little bit time consuming and involved to kind of make those adjustments to get it to fit your bike. If you're like 95% of people where you're gonna be hauling the same two bikes pretty much all the time, you do that pain once, you figure it out, and then it's gonna be great. If you are the type of person that, you know, you're going riding with your son today, you're going riding with your daughter next week, they're different ages, different size bikes, you will have a few bit of like quirks for figuring out how to make those adjustments. But again, like I said, this comes with all the basic features you're gonna want. It's sturdy and reliable, but let's talk a little bit more about how it will fit for you and your vehicle. All right, so now let's talk about all the essential things that you need to know for fitting this to your vehicle. So uh, Yakima actually does sell the OnRamp LX in two different sizes. You can get it for either a two inch or a one and a quarter inch hitch. Now, if you do drop, if you do have that one and a quarter, that does drop the weight rating down slightly. You go from 80 pounds per tray or 160 pounds total down to 70 per tray or 140 total. So just know that going into it. Now, Yakima even did give this an off-road rating too, um, but that does drop it a little bit more significantly down to 48 and 42 pounds per tray respectively. But, you know, if you do have a lighter uh, mountain bike or something like that, you could technically take this and do a little bit of off-roading with it. Um, so along with that, I mean, this is all pretty simple and uh, useful system. It's going to work for a lot of different e-bikes since this does kind of function by securing the bike via frame or seat post contact with these little like grabber arms right here. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's really good and versatile. It's going to accommodate bikes from 34 inches in wheelbase all the way to 54 inches, which is really, really long. A lot of hitch racks kind of top out around 50 or 51 inches. Those few extra inches does enable you to get cargo bikes like the Rad Wagon on here. So and that, how you kind of achieve that is these different uh, platforms right here, they actually expand or like shrink down so you can fit it to the exact size that you need. So that's kind of all the essentials you need to know about getting it fit, but let's go ahead and demo it, uh, just getting bikes on here. So one of the things that does come included with this rack that I really like a lot is the fact that it does come with a ramp. If you're gonna make a hitch rack for e-bikes, I love to see the, ra the ramp included since e-bikes are heavy. Now I'll kind of show you that a little bit later on how it fits on the rack, but for right now, we've already got this out. It just goes into this uh, groove on the end. That makes it really easier to get even some of these larger e-bikes like this electric x -Peak, up on here when you don't have a friend. Whoop. Lowering the kickstand down, always a good idea. <laughs> here we've got it already kind of set to the right uh, lengths that we need for this one. Just undo the strap on this arm that grabs onto the frame here. We're going to secure that in this case around the top tube. I've already got it on the seat post of the Radix band behind me. But then once we've kind of got that cinched down, then you just come down and cinch the tires. You get one for the front tire and one for the rear tire. And again, getting the sizing of this is what's most important because how it kind of chocks up against this system right here. It's got to be the exact right length. But that goes on nice and easy and we secure that down. 
And so, like I said, it's pretty simple and straightforward, just kind of once you have uh, the length of the tray that you need, once you've kind of learned where you need to line up these grabber arms to grab onto certain parts, and then it's all pretty simple and straightforward. Okay, so let's also talk about some of the features and look at some of the optional accessories that you can get with the OnRamp LX2. So one of the features that I like, this is rated for RV use. So at least on the two inch model that we have here. And so that's really nice that it is sturdy enough to withstand, you know, larger vehicle usage. Um, not only that, but another thing I like, I already mentioned that I like that it comes with a ramp included, but they kind of went the extra mile by finding a way to secure the ramp onto the rack itself. I really love that because some other hitch racks that I've used, I have to store those in my trunk somewhere and they roll or slide around, just take up some of my trunk space. I like that it's got the onboard solution to keep it out of my car. And then third thing, so we already kind of like talked about how you can expand the trays to fit the wheelbase, but kind of a nice bonus uh, part of that is just that when you take this off of your vehicle, you can kind of shrink those trays down, shrink down the overall footprint, kind of makes it easier to store in the corner of a garage, less of a tripping hazard that way. And then the last built-in feature, it's kind of silly, but I kind of like it. At the top of this mast here where you have the frame grabber arms, they actually have built in a bottle opener. So if you had a long day of riding and you want to crack a cold one, cheers, you can do that. Now, as far as some of the accessories worth taking a look at, they do have a light kit. Yakima sells their EXO light kit. That'll add brake lights, turn lights, and just overall enhance your visibility at night. I'm always a fan of extra safety when it comes to using hitch racks like these, especially if you're using it daily. Um, another thing we're taking a look at, it has uh, two good accessories. It has, there is the backswing and straight shot. Now the backswing is really nice because while this ramp does have a tilt forward function like so many do, making it a little bit easier to access, you know, the rear hatch of your vehicle, the swing arm is just really nice. It's going to extend this and rotate it off of your vehicle a full 90 degrees, allowing you to really get into your trunk with ease, which is really awesome. Now, the straight shot is nice because it just basically extends it out another couple of inches. So if you do have a spare tire on the back of your vehicle, it's gonna give you the clearance that you need to make that. So those are definitely good accessories to take a look at if you need them. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of point out some of the things that this rack does that really separates it from the other ones. It's kind of the pros list, if you will. Um, brought them up already, but I just wanna reiterate. I mean, again, this can hold up to 80 pounds per tray, and that is still not very common in the hitch rack marketplace. E-bikes have exploded in popularity, but hitch racks that can actually accommodate their extra weight hasn't fully caught up yet. So something going all the way to 80 pounds is awesome. And not only that, but again, Finding one that can hold that weight and accommodate cargo bike length still pretty rare as well. Um, I mean, my own brother, I mean, him and his wife have four kids. They bought two cargo bikes, and this is something that they could actually fit both of them onto if they wanted. Like, that is really awesome and kind of rare. Not a lot of racks out there will do that. And then last but not least, again, the fact that you can shrink down those trays to very small sizes, I really like. I'm a little tight on garage space, so if I do take this off of my car, uh, it's a tripping hazard for me. So making it a smaller footprint is something I really like. Now, there are a few things that I think that Yakima could do differently or just a couple of things that you have to know going into it that you'll have to decide for yourself if you want to live with it. So one of the trade-offs I think that you get is actually this design. So the center mast here is a little bit unique as it kind of raises up between the two different trays. And as you can see, it's kind of more aligned to one side of the uh, rack. Now, Yakima has thought this through. You can actually adjust uh, this fixed side right here. It has three different points. So you can kind of slide those over, figure out what you need to to make it fit for your bikes, but it is just a little bit uh, less adjustable. Like I said, if you're making frequent adjustments, changing out a lot of bikes, it might be a lot of moving parts you have to work with. It won't be the quickest adjusting system, but you can always find a fit. I've put on all sorts of different bikes on here from fat bikes to cargo bikes, step through bikes, you name it, I've put it on here. You can always find a fit, just takes a little bit of extra time. Now, another thing that I think could be done a little differently, there is no onboard locking solution here. So with these, uh, with the cinches right here, these cinch straps that come down, it's not something you can lock in place. You do have to get a, se a separate cable lock if you wanna have the security on here of making sure no one can take them. Now, fortunately down here at the base, there's stuff that you can wrap around if you do have a cable lock. So it's all pretty straightforward, um, but I would like to see onboard security built in. So from day one, when you get the OnRamp LX, it's all actually a pretty easy process. Um, I put this together myself. It only took me maybe about 20 minutes. You just have to bolt a couple of pieces together, really, and then you're pretty much good to go and get on the hitch from there. Now, in terms of like the ease of use getting on and off the hitch, I mean, it's pretty much the same as anything else. You can do it with one person and it's easier with two. One thing that I do like about this, though, is a lot of them will have some sort of 
um, pin mechanism and lock and then some sort of like tightener or expander or something like that. This is actually one of those few that does have a threaded bolt. So when you go to secure that to the hitch itself, you, uh, Yakima includes a 24 millimeter wrench or you can go get a, a 24 millimeter socket if you need to. But that is really nice because that type of connection is a little bit more secure than something with the expander would be. Um, and it does help with the overall wobble of this. Um, every hitch rack has some amount of wobble and sway to it. This one to me actually feels just a little bit more solid. I don't have a really good way of measuring that. I'm just kind of giving you the my experience from testing all the different racks and what it looks like in the rear view. But this one I actually think did have a more secure connection, which I really liked. Now, in terms of the ease of use for getting bikes on there and off there, I mean, kind of already demoed that. It's pretty straightforward and easy. I occasionally ran into a couple of problems with just pedals kind of lining up with that center mass since it does raise up in between the two. So kind of striking it on both bikes sometimes. But overall, it's not too bad. Like I said, it's more or less figuring out the alignment and spacing of everything. Um, it takes a little bit of time, but once you've got it, I mean, you're set and good to go and get both bikes on there in minutes. For moving around and operating with the daily, it of course does fold up against your vehicle when you don't have bikes on there, which makes it really nice. And again, if you're the type of person, especially since this is a uh, threaded bolt that you have to get a wrench to get on and off there, you're not taking your rack off anytime soon. It does have things like license plate mounts, the optional light accessories that we talked about, stuff that you'd want to have if you're going to keep this on there all the time. And then just in terms of its overall construction, I really think this is solidly built. I like when I get a hitch rack that says it is good for RV usage. To me, that just gives me a little bit more peace of mind. My vehicle is not as big or as heavy as an RV, so if it can withstand that, I think it's going to last here. All, all in all, it's got really good solid materials. There is a couple of bits of like plastic pieces, I think, on the grabber arms. That, that's why you've really got to make sure you get the alignment right, because if you kind of bend those at weird angles or try to stretch or reach a little bit, it does seem to put a little stress on the plastic. That's maybe the only thing I'd keep an eye on. But again, as long as you get a good secure connection that's more straight on, really, I think the durability is going to be high using the on-ramp LX. So overall, the bottom line that I can say about the Yakima on-ramp LX is I think this is a really good, really solid uh, hitch rack. It is the type of thing that I can recommend to just about anybody. I think the only type of person it wouldn't be good for is the type of person who is constantly swapping between different bikes, just because there is a lot of little like micro adjustments you have to make. But if you're like 95 plus percent of the people I talk to and you're always transporting the same bikes, once you've kind of like lined it up and gotten that spacing, you're going to really like just how solid and how sturdy this is, just how useful it can be, especially if you look to add on some of those optional accessories to really get the most out of it. But now I'm curious what you think. Would you look into getting something like this rack? Let us know in the comments below, along with any questions you might have. You can check out current pricing from the link down below. And if you do purchase off that uh, link, it does help support our channel. So thank you in advance. Again, I'm Griffin Hales with Electric Bike Report, and this has been the Yakima On-Ramp LX.